I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some interesting questions on simple interest. The question here is, after three years Anil's investment is worth 1120. Five years later the amount has reached 1320. What is the principal and what is the annual simple interest rate per year? So let's explore principal interest and figure it out. Now amount is equal to principal invested plus the interest which is P times RT right now what we are given here is after three years earnest investment is worth 1120 so after three years time will be three we don't know what principal and what rate is so we'll just use the variables P and R but we know the amount which is 1120 so let's write down the first equation which is 1120 is equals to P plus 3 times, right? T is 3 for us. So we say PR times 3, right? So this is after 3 years. Now how about 5 years later? When we say 5 years later, it really means 3 plus 5, 8 years, correct? So after 8 years, the amount will become 1320. We get 1320 equals to p plus p into r times 8. I hope this point is clear to you. Why it is 8? It is, this is after 3 years, right? So this equation number 1 is after 3 years. And this equation number 2 is after 3 plus 5 years. So this is after 3 years and this is 3 plus 5 years. That's how you get 8, right? Now it's like two linear equations with two variables P and R. So we can I think solve, right? So let's do equation 2 minus equation 1, correct? So what I'm trying to do now is equation 2 minus equation 1. So what do we get? We get 1320 minus 1120 that is 200 equals to P minus P is 0 and 8 minus 3 is 5, 5 times PR, right? Well that makes sense. So after five years, there is increase of $200. So that is the interest earned in five years, right? So from here per year, we can find what is the interest earned, which will be 200 divided by five, right? So we have 200 divided by five is the value of interest earned per year, correct? So we get this as P times R as 40. So it simply means that every year interest earned is 40 right so that is what we got now from here we need to find both the value of P as well as R so what we can do is we can utilize this product which is our equation number 3 to find value of P so what we can do is now substitute 3 in 1 right so if I sub 3 in 1, then what do I get? So PR is 40 for me, so I'll write 40 here. So we have 1120 equals to P plus, instead of PR, I'm writing 40, right? 40 times 3, do you see that? 40 times 3 is 120, right? So we can bring it on the left side, say 1120 minus 40 times 3, which is 120 is equals to P. And from here we can find what principal is. Principal is thousand dollars, right? So we got the value of thousand dollars. So we'll call this as our equation number four, right? And now using equation three and four, right? We find the value of R, right? P times R is forty. P is thousand. Therefore, what is R? R is equals to P. R is equal to 40 divided by P, right? 40 divided by P. That is 40 divided by 1000, right? So 40 divided by 1000. So 4%, do you see that? So we get our answer as 4%, 4 out of 100. So therefore, we can find both P and R utilizing the given information. So we get principal as equals to thousand dollars and the rate of interest as equal to four percent 
I hope you appreciate the technique. This is a very important question. Go through it once again and try to understand how we got the result. Thank you.